Welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol. Is it Groundhog Day? Am I living the same day over and over? I could swear I just made this video. Oh, wait, that was about a different VTuber being canceled for playing Hogwarts Legacy. Only that one actually bit back instead of being, you know, letting themselves be canceled by the mob. This one, eh, she ain't so lucky. Let's take a look at this article. Pikmin leaves VOMs following Hogwarts Legacy controversy. VOMs, I believe, being the, the company, kind of like V Shoujo or Hollow Live. Pikmin, a popular VTuber signed with talent agency VOMs, has requested to leave the organization following controversy after she streamed Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy has sparked an avalanche of debate ever since its launch on February 10th. Fans of the Harry Potter franchise have both praised and criticized the title, largely due to comments made by the series' author, J.K. Rowling, regarding trans people. Upon its launch, a slew of streamers who were faced with backlash for broadcasting game, not the least of which were VTubers, creators whose virtual anime-inspired avatars to represent themselves on screen. And like I said, if you watched my previous video, you'll know this, but if you didn't, let me catch you up. I'm not a VTuber fan. It's not my thing. Like, I don't dislike them or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not anti-VTuber. It's just not my thing. I got a buddy that's real into it. He's shown me a couple VTuber things. I've reacted to, to a couple VTuber songs on this channel, and that's about the extent of it. I know the little bit he showed me, and I've reacted to two songs. That's all I know about VTubers. So, I'm, I'm not a fan, and that's, that's okay. Again, it's not that I dislike them, but... This stuff is reaching non-fans. That's how out of control all this has gotten. You've got non-fans, people who are just, you know, casuals or normies, seeing this VTuber drama and nonsense because the Twitter freaks out there, to use, you know, Silvervale's words, have gotten so insane. You know, it's trending on Twitter. I don't follow VTuber stuff. Why is this trending on Twitter? It's popping up in my YouTube recommendations. I don't watch VTuber stuff. Why is it popping up in YouTube? It's, it's because that's how insane the Twitter mob has gotten. Now this lady is sitting there ready to literally cancel her entire uh, VTube career all because of some hate over a damn game? Now, I'll be real. Part of me is, is kind of callous and thinks, really? You're, you're going to cancel your entire career over some hate over one video game? You're kind of weak then. You probably didn't deserve to be a VTuber in the first place. That's my initial thought process, because who's going to throw their career away over something as dumb as some Twitter freaks throwing a fit about a wizard game on the internet? But I don't want to be mean like that. I don't, want, I don't know what this individual has going on in their life behind their anime avatar. All I know is that they grew up really bullied for being half American, half Japanese in, in real life from the research I've done, you know, living in Japan. So apparently Japanese didn't like her all that much. She tried to, to switch and, and maybe gear her stuff towards a more American audience. And uh, yeah, they, they weren't a fan of it either due to the Hogwarts legacy controversy. That, that's the extent of what I know. I don't know how true that is. My point is, maybe if you're getting hate your entire life for being mixed race and then you're, you know, growing up getting hate from one side, you turn to the other side hoping for acceptance, then you, you don't get acceptance for them either because of these weird, dumb gender ideologues on and on about trans stuff like that matters for a freaking Harry Potter game. Okay, Maybe that's just like the straw that breaks the camel's back, and she's not a weak individual for canceling her entire career over this one game. But but I don't know. Let's keep reading. Most notably, popular VTuber Silvervale ended one of her streams in tears after coming under fire due to Twitch's auto mod program, which had automatically banned the word trans in chat due to the possibility that it was being used for harassment. And I, I, I covered this. If you're you know unfamiliar, this is kind of where this whole event started. So please check out that video. Although Silvervale promised to push through it in spite of backlash, another VTuber has made the decision to step away from creating content after undergoing harsh treatment online from critics of Hogwarts Legacy. Pikami chose to graduate VOMs after Hogwarts Legacy backlash. Amano Pikami is an OG VTuber who garnered a dedicated fanbase due to her upbeat personality and humorous gaming streams. She, like many other streamers, decided to broadcast Hogwarts Legacy upon release and was met with a wave of criticism and harassment that ultimately prompted her to go dark for several weeks. On March 1st, 2023, VTube agency VOMS released a statement via Twitter claiming that Pikami has decided to graduate from the organization. We regret to inform you that Amano Pikami, a member of our group, will graduate from the group and terminate her activities as of March 31st, 2023, the statement reads. Now, it's not just as simple as she's quitting. You know, people have been fans of YouTubers who've quit. Like, you know, the Smosh, they're no longer together. You can still go back and watch their old stuff, though. I mean, it's on the internet forever. This is not that simple. Anyone that's a fan of this individual, her stuff is getting wiped. Her Twitter is staying, uh, is staying unlocked, but it's going inactive. All videos, streams, uh, any of that, straight up being deleted. All merch going on sale to be sold out and never to be released again. Like, if you're a fan of Pikami, which I'm sure people you know, watching this are going to be, considering I'm put, plastering her name front and center on this video, 
this is your last chance to get Pika Me Birch, at least official Pika Me Birch from, from the VOMS site or store or however you guys do it, uh, because it's it's going dark. That's what I've already read this important notice. That's basically what it is. I, I have it pulled up uh, here, and I'm going to go over little bits of it. Um, you know, thank you for your continued support of the VOMS project. We regret to inform you that Amano Pikami, a member of the group, will graduate from the group uh, March 31st. I mean, yeah, we know all that, but it's the, the next page. Uh, Amano uh, Pikame post-graduation information. The following actions are scheduled to be taken during March 31st. Amano Pikami channel content will be private. Pikami channel membership closed. Pikami's SNS and other accounts inactive. Um, Pikami content on the VOMS project channel private. Pikami products in the VOM project permanent collection end of sale. That's that. So you guys who are fans of the, the Pick Me project or whatever, I'd say uh, go ahead and get it while it's hot because you're not going to get this opportunity again. This is insane. Is is this really where we're at in life? We're canceling anime avatars over playing a little wizard game? Like, I, there's real people behind these anime avatars, and there's real people that went into making this wizard game. I made a video like two or three weeks ago saying that Hogwarts Legacy is out. It's a, it's a you know, smash success, made a gajillion dollars. We're pretty much done with the controversy. And I thought I was done with the controversy. I went for a long time not making any videos on it. Then the Silver Veil stuff happened a few days ago. I was like, man, I gotta make a video on that because, again, I'm not a VTube fan, but this is bleeding over into, like, my my space of YouTube. The, the stuff that I watch and the, and the stuff that, on, on Twitter, like, this is attacking that now. This is strange. And here we are, just a few days later. And now it's happening to another VTuber. Like, I get it. I'm a weeb. Maybe the AI inside of uh, YouTube sees that I'm always wearing anime shirts in all my videos. They're like, yeah, yeah, he must like this uh, this VTuber stuff. Let's show him all this VTuber news. Well, and that is absolutely not the case. Again, nothing against VTubers, but certainly not my thing. That being said, now it's starting to pop up even more in my places. And it, it makes me wonder, how long has this been going on since before I found out about it? Since before us normies have heard about it? How long have they been trying to cancel and, and remove these VTubers? YouTubers for simply going against the grain, going against the, the mainstream, the norm. Uh, in, in this case, they're doing the mainstream thing, which is playing a freaking video game, a Harry Potter video game, that most people are chill with. I mean, the game has sold like $850 million in two weeks or something like that. One of the largest game releases, the, the largest game release of 2023, and I think 2022 as well. It beat out Elden Ring, which is the highest of 2022. The game is massive. Most people are fine with this. This is a small but vocal minority that are throwing this fit. That's why I don't think Pika Me should quit. Obviously, she's gonna. Some little 500 100-ish subscriber, no-name YouTubers not going to convince her not to quit. But really, look at this game's sales. It is clearly a minority of people who are throwing a fit like this because the game did gangbusters. But, you know, I guess just listen to the vocal minority and, and do what you gotta do. Pikami speaks out and made decision to graduate from VOMS. Pikami also uploaded a YouTube video explaining the situation, where she thanked the fans for love and sweet words they'd given her during her time at VOMS. I'm so sorry for shocking you guys like this, she said. Despite all the sad things, I still have a month left, so I hope we can have a lot of fun times. Thus far, Pikami's fan base has been showing an outpouring of support for the VTuber amid the latest news. I just saw the Pikami announcement and felt like a punch in the chest. I legit want to cry. Watching Pikami was like watching a little sister. It made me feel great hearing her kettle laugh and seeing her having a good time. And now she's graduating. It fucking hurts. They need to stop using the word graduating. I get what it means. It's supposed to be a nice way of saying retiring. But stop. It makes it sound too innocent. This chick was cancelled. It's that simple. This little anime avatar with a real person behind it was cancelled. Now granted, she's making the choice herself to step away, but she's doing it based on all the harassment and hate and, and uh, effectively abuse that she has gotten. And I don't like using words like that. You know, oh, they're just words. Get over it. Whatever. And that's, again, nine times out of ten, that's how I feel. But for whatever reason, there's something a little bit different with this case. Maybe it's because I did read the backstory, know that she grew up, you know, of mixed race and things like that, so she probably had it rough growing up. Uh, maybe it's because, you know, I'm just so tired of these Twitter freaks that I'm starting to get, get a little bit soft. Who knows? But, no, stop using the word graduating. You, you're, you're lessening and softening the blow by that. Be a freaking man or be an adult or whatever you are. She was canceled. And this, this needs to stop. This is one of the most classic clips of all time. I remember this was one of the earlier clips I've watched before falling down the VTuber rabbit hole. Pika Me is an absolute legend. Let's support her until the very end. Luckily, Pika herself seems to be taking her graduation cancellation with lighthearted spirits, as seen in a tweet she posted the day of the big announcement. Now say, I love Pika as my girlfriend and she has boing boing before I graduate. Say it now, Dazo. 
I won't lie, none of this made sense to me. I have no idea what this means, but whatever. Pikami herself tweeted it, and it's her with a gun, so that's kind of funny. This is the latest installment in an ongoing drama surrounding streamers playing Hogwarts Legacy after critics brought girlfriend reviews to tears after she and her fiancé decided to broadcast the title shortly after release. Yeah, now, let's go to Pikame on Twitter. Oh, look at that. We have someone covering this. We have Japanese Pik uh, VTuber Pikami resigns after being harassed by Leptis. And, okay, so yeah, we got another support for, for Pikami, it looks like. Pikmi shared stories about being bullied in school because she was different. She talked about VTube finally being in the place where people accepted and loved her. For her to graduate, uh, again, cancel, get canceled in this manner is the pinnacle of disrespect and love and joy she brought to the world. More support. Uh, being a trans VTuber is about to get a lot worse as trans hopes will blame trans people for this. That is probably true. These are just four random examples I found. It's already begun. Be safe, y'all. It's about to get a lot worse. No amnesty. We need people supporting Pikami and standing up to Twitter freaks now more than ever. Why are other VTubers silent about this? How can they now? And how can they now that one of their friends have quit because of this? They made Pikami retire. I'm declaring total war as promised. Okay, keyboard warrior, calm down. If she doesn't re-debut in the eventual Halloween or J uh, or Hollow JP7, I'll be devastated. I guess that's yeah. She can maybe rebrand and come back. That's an option. You know, wrestlers do that all the time. She didn't deserve this. She's never caused a problem in her effing life, let alone her online career. She can't stand these effing kids and these trunances. All right. Bullying innocent people in submission. I hope they realize the next time they get lippy, it will end in instant frame one reverse flame to point. Maybe these suicides won't be fake this time. I don't know what that means, but that sounds incredibly ominous. All right. Yeah, point is, I, 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 everything I've gone through, this has all been support for Pikami on Twitter. So she's trending, and everyone's, like, very supportive of her, it seems. That being said, it is a small minority of individuals online that are doing this. It, it, it's a small minority, but she took that to heart, and I obviously I think a lot of us are going to say it's a mistake, um, but what can you do? Eventually stuff wears on you, it gets you down, it's, it's you know, I don't want to say, it's, oh, it's difficult making content all the time. No, you sit in front of a computer and mess with a keyboard and a mouse, and you, you, you get a little webcam and a little avatar, and you get paid the big bucks for basically playing pretend. You didn't make it in Hollywood, but you can make it on in your, in your bedroom with your YouTube camera. Like, that's really what it is when you boil down to it. Anyone that makes a living doing any sort of content creation, um... Is a, they're living the dream. They got nothing to complain or care about. If you ask me, there's real world problems going on out there. But that being said, it's it's the principle of the matter of this that really worries me. The idea that individuals can come in in mass, throw a bunch of hate and shade, and it affects you know people's decisions when really there's no logic to back it up. There's no reason to to quit being a VTuber over this sort of backlash. Nothing truly negative came of it aside from your fee fees on the inside uh but something is telling you or at least telling this you know individual hey i, I gotta quit doing this it, it's not worth it anymore and that's it's all over something that isn't even true that isn't even accurate you know th this hogwarts legacy game is anti-trans or whatever which isn't even a true fact you know so oh man this this is a bother that being said if you ask my opinion, Pikmin should have taken a page from Silver Veil's book and just bitten back against these Twitter freaks rather than, you know, kowtow and decide to cancel, retire. Again, I don't know their whole story, so I can't claim to, you know, know that, that would be the correct answer. But it is a real shame that we are letting, especially the Japanese industry, is letting these Western Twitter freaks, um, and of course maybe it's probably happening in the East too, I don't know, affect their output, their work, their personas, everything they want to put on, their body of, of culture, uh, all because of what's going on on Twitter. This, this is an absolute travesty and I really, really do want you to subscribe and share this video because let's be honest, if this is affecting normies like me, if it's getting individuals like me who don't have any sort of ties to the VTube community, if it's showing up on our Twitter feeds, our YouTube feeds, whatnot, this is clearly a big issue and it's worth growing. So please do subscribe to the channel, get this message out there, and uh, obviously I'm a nerdy news channel, I do nerdy news every day, not always about topics like this, but about several other things, such as a teacher using Mario character 
characters to teach about gender ideology, calling Mario gay and Peach a lesbian, and, you know, stuff that's just like what we're seeing with Hogwarts Legacy, but maybe even a bit more extreme. So please do subscribe to the channel to get more information on that. It's all here in the Nerdosphere, and this has been Words of Paradise.